Good morning, everybody. It is Natty B back with another video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, what is up? Um, before we get into this video, make sure you like and subscribe down below. Don't forget to comment too. Okay, now that we're done with that, what's up? Um, today, I just decided to film a random day in my life. We have a few things going on, running some errands. Just why not bring you along with me, you know? I just woke up. I'm going to make some coffee because as you can tell, I look very tired. We are immediately going to also go clean my sheets. I haven't done it in like two weeks and I'm feeling a little gross now. So I'm going to take those down to the laundry room and then we'll get into the rest of the day while those are washing, you know? Okay, we have this guy. I'm going to wash this blanket down. I'm not gonna wash my comforter, I don't think. No, that's like so much work. We'll wash this guy. Wash this guy. You know what the worst part about this is? Is having to make it again. Washing this pillow, why is there like a zipper? <laughs> Got the pillow covers. Now I got this guy. And you know what? We're good to go. I also need to wash my towels too. I'm gonna wash my towels also and this rug that I walk on every day because they're getting a little nasty. I also can't see so we need my contacts because I'm a blind as a bat. And this is what I look like going to go do laundry in an apartment complex that has no one my age except for older people. Remember how I was like, haha, I'm gonna see an old man? Well, I did. And he was like 70. And he looked at me like, hmm. But the worst part about doing my laundry here is that it costs money. And I'm sure you guys are gonna be like, that's normal, but I, like, even at ASU, Everywhere I lived, I never had to pay to do my laundry. So I'm just like, it's really weird to me. I'm not used to it. So that's my little spiel. We're gonna make some coffee. I'm out of water, so let's fill her on up. When I make coffee, I don't really care if I use sink water. Cause I'm like, it's getting heated up anyways, you know? And I don't think this water is gross. I think it's fine. Let's take this guy out. Put in a new Duncan thing. This sounds like it's full. Whoa, yep, it's full. Pork. Okay. Yep, that's very full. That's very full. Amazing. And now which coffee mug to dye? I just want a regular white one because it holds more. If you follow me on Instagram, which if you haven't done yet, go do that right now. Um, I kind of go on this creamer journey, <clears throat> trying to find the best at-home creamers. I gave this one an 8 out of 10 originally, but now I kind of think it's like a 7 out of 10. It's not my favorite. It's the Coffee Mate Oat Milk Creamer vanilla flavor but I'll put in a little before I s it looked a little chunky but I don't think it is I put it in before so then it automatically stirs so then I don't have to waste a spoon to stir it myself and now I'm gonna reopen this guy and take some supplements. So to start off every morning, I will pour a cup of orange juice, about yay big, maybe a little bigger, and since you all know me and I can't swallow pills, I dump this Hum Nutrition Daily Cleanse. I really like these Hum products. I find that they are great supplements. 
and I feel better when I use them. And I am also using this Hum Skin, Skin Heroes Pre and Probiotic. Everyone should be taking a probiotic, I learned. I didn't really know that, and now I'm like probiotic queen. I'm kidding, I'm totally not, but I definitely look for that stuff now, and I've been taking these so I feel like I am making an active change to help my internal organs be the best that they can be. But I'll show you my little concoction when I'm done. It's a little gross, and it doesn't taste the best, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So I take two of each every day, and then I'll steal this guy, it's all at the top, and I'll stir it all together. This one will definitely need more orange juice. Thank goodness we bought a new one. Ready, folks? Down the hatch. I think the worst part is the smell. And then I fill it back up. And now, guys, I am on acne medicine. I'm filming a video taking you through everything about this acne pill and my skin journey. That'll probably be up in two weeks because I want to do like updates. But I take one now and then one in a few hours. Break it, chew it. It's like still hard for me to swallow. And that's my morning routine. Your little heart goes pitter patter. I want you liver on a platter. Now that I'm done with that stuff, I like to wake up and just go through everything I need to catch up on all my emails and stuff. Just doing whatever I need. And also now, in the mornings, I am, I started my vlog. It's not all the way up yet. It should be hopefully next week. I'm just trying to figure out all my formatting stuff. I will also be posting a video about that and you guys are gonna see that I am actually stupid in trying to start this vlog. I'm just like, it's just like, it's just hard to um, get everything set up exactly how I want when I don't really know how to code or format websites in that sense. So it's taking me a little longer than I wanted to but it'll be up soon at nattyblogs.com. I know bloggers usually do like different names. I know Delaney Childs is like the styled seed, but I just, I'm Natty Blogs, I guess. So I'll be working on that too. I need to fill out some contracts also. What is this? Do you guys ever watch your um, Snapchat memories and think like, Wow, I used to be way cooler than I was now. Like, obviously I look stupid, but like, like, what's up athlete, extreme athlete cam, and then sig up sweetheart? Why am I not cool anymore? Okay. Oh, jeez. It's 11 11, make a wish. Okay, my laundry's done. I'm gonna go get that stuff, put it in the dryer, and then I'll be back. So don't miss me too much. I'm back! I know you guys miss me so much. It's crazy. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's only 11.15, and if you've watched my other videos, you know that I intermittent fast. So I don't eat until noon, and then <clears throat> I stop eating around eight, and it just works for me, you know? So that's what I'm doing, and I need to wait until noon. So I'm just gonna keep doing it, work on my computer, working on my blog, and finishing all of the emails that I have to 
get through. And then, don't worry guys, we're gonna leave the house. We're gonna do some crazy things today. Maybe not that crazy, but you never know. Okay, I got all my stuff. I'm on the phone with CVS. I don't know why they called. But then they also put me on hold, so why? You know? Okay, hold on. The laundry is all done. Let's put this guy back on the floor. So, here is my nice rug. Also, peep the deodorant thing. Hi, I received a call from you all and I'm just calling you back. All good, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Okay, like I said, here are my towels, gorgeous, yes, this. I have to use this to hold open this door or else it closes all the time, which is so annoying. Now we'll send it to my room to make my bed. Ready? Where am I standing so I know? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have my hands right here. Ready, action. I don't even know if I did that well. That probably looks so stupid. <laughs> Anyways, bed's made, it's 12.30, I need to eat, and then I'm gonna hit the gym around 1, 1 1.15, and go from there. What should we eat, guys? Also, my vlog's coming along really well, I'm really excited, you have no idea. Fridge vibes. I'm just gonna make another Mexican bowl like that I had last night. So. I'm going to, we have cilantro chicken from the crock pot. And then we're gonna throw it into a bowl. It's enough. More than enough, honestly. Okay, we got that guy. We got our beans, our black beans. While I'm doing this, I'm gonna heat up my rice. I just use a minute thing of rice, white rice. Brooke uses the brown and quinoa because she's extra hungry. We'll throw it in for a minute, and then I will continue adding my beans to this. It's a lot of beans. Brooke usually throws that stuff in there for like a minute, which I think is a little too long. So I'll probably do like 30, 45 seconds. And then we have our Mexican blend cheese and our hot salsa, Casa Sanchez. I did this workout yesterday. If you've ever done like weighted teapots where you have a weight and then you go like this. Bro, oh my gosh, my sides hurt. I also did this new leg exercise. Um, and my booty and my hammies hurt so bad. And my biceps. I did bicep curls and I usually never do those. So they're like, ouch. You need to have good arms, you know. You can't just have a good butt. You need the whole thing, you know. Well, I accidentally left it in for a minute, so. There's that, let's mix it all up, it is steaming. Okay, so we have our black beans, our cilantro, jalapeno, crock pot chicken, our rice, delicious. Let's mix it all. I was an idiot and forgot to get the lettuce, so we didn't have lettuce in our bowls this time. It's like really hot, this cheese is gonna instantly melt. I'm gonna bring the cheese and the salsa over with me so I can constantly add. Okay guys, so now that I finished eating, I am ready for the gym. I closed that. Fitness. And my AirPods. But now comes the fun part, it's not that fun. I have to run a lot of errands after the gym. So let me fill up my water bottle so I can stay hydrated through it all. I'll eat you up. Whenever you tell me I'm pretty lost for hunger, it really hits me. Your little heart goes pitter patter. I'm a joy we're on a platter. Use my fingers to my cheat and freezer, I'll suck your bro. 
I haven't even ever practiced that dance until now, and I think I low-key murdered it just from watching it so many times. The worst part about having a Brita is having to like refill it, which is obviously stupid to say, but it kind of is the worst. Anyways, we need to go return this battery. I bought another battery for this camera, and it ended up being the wrong one, so I have to return it to an Amazon thing. And then I have to pack up all these clothes that haven't, that I'm not selling, and take them to FedEx. And then we have our samples ready for a certain clothing company that I am a part of. So I'm also gonna go get those. It's just really a crazy day. I already have this fat daddy bag of clothes, you guys. It is like legit so insanely heavy, but I have that. And then I need to pack away all of these too, and I have another bag for that. Here we go, it's called Thread Up that I'm using. Um, Kenzie Elizabeth was doing it, so I did it. We're gonna take this thing. Open her on up. This bag is so big. This is so big. It's so sticky too that wherever it touches. This is like legit 50 pounds. I hope it doesn't cost me any money because if it does, it would cost like $500. It's so expensive. Oh my gosh, this is located in Arizona. That's kind of crazy. So we have these two things. And then, let's read the directions. And take it to a USPS location that has a prepaid label. And then we'll go from there. Okay, I'm gonna take this in case. And the other thing I have to take is this flip fit box. I just took my photos in it. Get the return label. UPS is gonna have a field day with me. The girl at UPS doesn't even like me. She's not very nice. I've never seen her smile. Maybe she's just having a rough time. But I've been a few days and she's just not a happy person. She doesn't even say hi. I'm really happy I'm finally getting all this stuff out of here. So I feel really bad because Brooks had to have all of my clothes sitting there since before we left for Christmas. So she's been a really nice roommate. Shout out you, Brooke. But also you guys, if I'm returning this battery, do I need to bring the whole box that came in? I don't, right? Because I'm taking it to an Amazon locker. I don't think so, I'm not gonna bring it. I'm gonna put it in my purse. I need to return these. Take them to EPS. I need to take the Amazon battery pack to USC, and then I need to go pick up samples. I think that's all I have to do. I'm gonna check my planner and make sure. Okay, we're good. I also need to carry this dang camera too. Okay, this has a carrying case. I'm gonna put this You guys, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I can't film it, cause I'm alone. So, I'll, I'll see you in the car. We did it. 
I am out of the house finally. It is around 1.30. I'm gonna send it straight to the gym. And then after, and then after that, I hate when people like look over in my car and I like have my camera out. I just feel whack, bro. I shouldn't feel whack, but okay, no, my dude, I need to get over too. Yeah, nice try. So yeah, I'm gonna send it to the gym. I'll tell you what I do after because like I said in previous vlogs, I can't bring my camera in there. Also, I would feel so uncomfortable if I did. Maybe if I was like, I'm a Chamberlain. I mean, she doesn't like vlogging in public either, but like if I was at her status, then I probably would, but I'm not. I think I know that girl. <laughs> I'm psycho. Okay, yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna bring it in, but I'll tell you what I do after, because that's what I do. I like to hide my vlogging. I need to stop looking over my shoulder like that. I'm gonna get in a crash. Okay, this is dangerous. I have to hang up, goodbye. What's up? I'm back from the gym. I don't think that's funny, but I low key am. I literally hate cardio more than anything, but I am forcing myself to do it. So I did 20 minutes on the treadmill and I did an incline of 10, walking at 3.3, which doesn't sound crazy, but like it's kind of hard. And then I, during half of it, I was like, let's bump it up, Nat. So then I started running for a little, but I'm not a runner. I can't make me run sprints, I'll run sprints. That's what I'm used to. Cannot do distance at all. That is not my thing. Um, so I did cardio and then I did um, these, I put a band, or I did cable rows. So you're sit seated and you're rowing like this to work your back. And then I did lateral pull downs, also seated. And then I did a band around my, above my knees. And I did squat and then push up and then mixed in, um, curtsy lunges with a step up so step up curtsy lunges while also holding a weight and then i went downstairs and i did um cable pulls where you're like holding it like this and you lean and then you pull them in to work your under armpits and i mixed that in with um tricep pull downs and then I went and did some abs. What, so it wasn't crazy, but you definitely got a good burn going on. I am now on my way to drop the Flip Fit stuff off and the FedEx at a UPS store right now. I'm gonna go do that and then I'm gonna send it straight to the sample area. Yeah, so that's my plan. I saw someone I know at the gym, which is crazy because I don't really know anyone out here. Granted, he's one of Brooke's really good friends, um, but still, I was like, oh my gosh, a friend. I got a hug today, that's crazy. I sound so lame, oh my gosh. I'm gonna go like, crawl in a hole really quick, BRB. Okay, it's been one minute and I already have an update for you guys. Um, I went to go start driving, or well, I went to drop off my package. They took the flip fit box, but the other one, they were like, mm, nope, too big, you need to go to a different USPS. So here I am going to a different USPS. And then, you know how I was gonna go get samples and then go return a battery pack? Yeah, that's gonna be moved to tomorrow because the timing just didn't work out well. So, I'm gonna go to this next USPS store, do a little drop off, and then I'm gonna go to the grocery store and get stuff for tonight, and guess what we're having for dinner? We are having Mexican bowls, so I am eating it twice in one day. I love my meals. Maybe I'll go home and make a TikTok. Can I reverse? I need everyone to let me be. Bro, driving in LA sucks. Like, it's real, like, 
I used to think it's really not that bad. Everyone's just stupid. Stop complaining. Everyone complains too much. I'm not complaining right now, but I am saying that it's not fun to drive on these streets. They just kind of suck. And that's the tea for all of you. I need to start driving around here more. <laughs> As in like, I hate it so much. I need to start driving around more and finding new places because I kind of just stick to the one road by my house. I don't really like explore. I don't try new things. My ears still hurt. So whenever I wear glasses, it's just not my friend. So the, and these are like a little tight too. Does this look good? Okay, guys, I must be like really intimidating and people just don't want to smile at me. When I say, hi, how are you? Have a great day, bye. Like literally, I swear that no one says it back. Or not even that, but just like no one interacts. And also, I'm annoyed because the cashier was talking to the girl before me and then I come up and I'm like, hi, how are you? And then he got silent and like didn't speak. And to make it worse, he didn't give me my Monopoly. I am taking this Monopoly so seriously, you guys. Like I am saving every coupon and he didn't give it to me. And because he was so rude and didn't want to engage, I didn't want to ask for it. I'm mad. Like, I want my Monopoly. I should have gotten three, and he didn't give me three. There's me venting. Okay, now I'm going home. I'm going to shower because I feel absolutely disgusting. Grocery haul. Olive oil. Extra virgin. By star. Because I'm a star. Banza. It's chickpea pasta, so it's healthy. Very yummy. Salsa, because I ate it all today. And we decided to eat it again tonight. Blueberries and raspberries for my breakfast. Because I didn't have them, so I can't be making my oatmeal. Because it's really dry if I don't. Lettuce, I remembered. Mexican style cheese, yummy. And last but not least, two brown minute races for moi. Let me get the receipt that says I deserve three Monopoly tickets. Guys, look. Venmo now has fun little thing in rhubarbers. You know what I'm craving right now? And it's my favorite thing ever. I need all of you to go to Whole Foods and get Kava Tzatziki. It's this restaurant in California. It's like Mediterranean Chipotle. And this tzatziki is just out of this world. I'm almost done. But I just put it on a chip. I need to get cucumbers. Bro. Bro, bro, bro. Oh my gosh, I need to take my pill again. If it wasn't out here looking at me in the face every day, I wouldn't be taking it. Thank you guys, my birthday really is soon. Think about it makes me want to cry. I don't really... But I love my birthday. I love when people give me attention. Sorry to say it, but it's true. But like, I don't really know anyone here. It's on a weekday. My parents aren't going to do anything for it. It makes me really sad. Like, I like don't even want the day to come. But you know the quote, nobody likes you when you're 23. I think on the day, I'm just going to go have, like, a picnic by myself on the beach. Should I vlog it? How to have yourself a birthday on the beach. Oh, my gosh, I'm going to... Get myself a little cupcake too. I think I'm gonna make a picnic. I'm gonna get a candle and make it look like someone threw me a party, even though literally it's just me by myself. That's funny. It's not funny, that's sad. Dang. Wish me a happy birthday, guys. I'm not gonna wash my hair, even though I'm sweaty, I'll just throw some dry shampoo in it, which might sound disgusting, but. 
That's what you get, guys. You get me. Dirty old me. Okay, showered. I bet you guys missed this shirt. Ugh. Love Bruno, but I'm starting to clean because Brooke's having friends this weekend and we're gonna deep clean the house so they don't think that we're pigs. this handy dandy tool I just got. It's this ladybug my aunt gave me for Christmas and it sweeps up all of the crumbs. Wherever you have crumbs. Ready? We turn her on. And she eats them all. She's such a hungry bug. We're gonna move her here and eat these crumbs too. Brooke and I had chocolate last night and there's some remnants. Take her to the kitchen too. She's really hungry, clearly. Okay, I think she's full. She's full. Miss Rhodes is home, so now we're gonna eat our meal. It's okay. Oh, you have such a good memory. I know. Because I talked about it today on the vlog, and so it really resonated. Good shit. You want to know a secret? What? This one expired on the 13th, and I didn't tell you. Bro. <laughs> so I said it last night, and I was like, there's no way I can eat this without salsa. That's pretty whack of you. Last night when you looked at me and you were like, remember how I didn't like salsa and usually? And I'm like, yeah. And you're like, now I do. And I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> you're kind of the worst. <laughs> you know I said that um, I would get so hungry? Did you take a snack today? I didn't take a snack. I think my, my lunch was just bigger. Or maybe your stomach's really skinny now. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> is it not? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what are you bring it? Bro, it looks like I'm eating for 12. I know, I don't know why it looks like that. <laughs> what the sh? <laughs> I didn't feel that full last night. I didn't either. And there you have it, guys. My meal for the second time today. Bro. I cannot believe she's almost at 29 million. That is so many people. Also, do you see yourself eating these beans? I can't look at beans for another week. <laughs> I've had too many beans. So I keep burping. Like, <laughs> she posted this TikTok four hours ago and already has 704,000 likes. How long ago? Four hours? With 2.7 million views. That's some fucking Kylie Jenner. Yeah, dude. She posted this one with Lil Huddy, and it has 39 million views and 7.4 million likes. How many views? 39.2 million. Thirty-nine million views. Thirty-nine million people saw her face in that video. Oh wait, I take it back. The one before it got forty-seven million views. I went through the other day trying to find her most viewed. <laughs> Was that it? No. I think some hit a hundred. Yeah, one hundred and three point eight million. What? And it's not even a video.
video that I would think that she'd get a hundred million on. But time does vary. Cavalier start eight. It's only seven fifteen. Which is kinda crazy. Charlie Charlie D'Amelio is untouchable. You know what's weird? What? How many people give a about her? Like how many views she gets, but blah, all the stuff, everything. Slash how many people don't know who she is. Like she's both at the same time. True. I think like even when we were in Nashville this weekend hearing that like Griffin watches TikTok all the time. I was like, what? And like, catches me off guard, we'll do. But I know if I and then like Charlie... Lombard would like break out a dance, and I'm like, what's going on? So Brooke and I were wrong, and very Cavalier starts at nine. So we're watching the episode that we watched last night when we caught up. And I made a little treat. I told you guys about this last time. There are two places. Are these sour Scandinavian swimmers? <laughs> Here it goes. Brooke is making. Brooke is trying to see what her and our friend Nick Nadenov's kids would look like. I think they'd be good looking. I think so too. Sorry. Sing it louder. Make me make me my face looks so much better than usual. It's the craziest thing in the whole world. But at night I use this Dr. Bussell's antibacterial acne soap, like usual. My computer, or my camera's gonna die. Okay, so I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna use the toner that they give me. I'm gonna wipe it all over my face, and then I'm gonna put lotion on my face. I use the Skin Medica Lotion, I use the Dr. Bussell's Toner, and then once I finish all of that fun stuff, I'm gonna brush my teeth, I'm gonna throw in my retainer, I'm gonna undo my bed. How do you say that? Like when you're in a hotel and it's like, can you blank my, pull down my bed? Brooke, when you're in a fancy hotel, what do you call when you're like, gonna have them undo your bed for you. Turn down service? Turn down. I'm gonna go turn down my bed. And then I'm gonna watch Netflix. Actually, I'll probably edit this because I want this up tomorrow. So I guess it's not really showing you the end of my day, but you guys know what I'm doing. So that is that. Thank you all for watching. I had, there really wasn't anything crazy going on today. But I still filmed it and brought you along with me, so give me credits for that. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. It makes me smile ear to ear when I get those notifications. I love you all so much, and I will see you next week on my next video. Also, the vlog will be up almost really soon. Nannyblogs.com.